Hello everybody. Today we're going to build the roundhouse and the sail so this windmill can turn into the wind. In my little drawing here you can see our blades and the bolt that goes into the roundhouse through two 2x4s two and there's a nut on each side making a real strong connection there. Now right here the, the bolt goes through a piece of pipe which acts as a spacer and it keeps the blades out on the outside there. Now when we go over here we've got our sail and this has to be balanced right in the center here. So I'm going to build this roundhouse today so the whole windmill will spin on that vertical shaft right there. I built the whole thing out of a 2x8. There's four pieces seven and a quarter inches long then there's a four inch long piece and then a ten and a quarter inch long piece. And this is how it goes together. The seven and a quarter inch pieces just sit up on top of that bottom piece and then finally we have our four inch piece that goes in the front there and that's what the the bolt goes through that holds the blades. And there's a there's a cover. Okay I'll turn this thing around here so you can see the front and I came up from the bottom two and a half inches and then I found center right there and that's where the bolts gonna go through for the blades. And I found center on this piece and that's where the bolt goes for the roundhouse to turn on. And so I've got two holes to drill for my bolts, one right there and then the other hole is in the front for the bolt that hold the blades on. And I'm going to drill those holes. There's the bolt sticking down through the bottom. That's a piece of threaded rod for the sail. And so the roundhouse will be able to spin like that. So now we'll get ready to make that sail. I'm going to make it out of the quarter inch luon and then it'll attach to that threaded rod. So this is the design that I've chosen for my sail. You've got to have enough surface area for the wind to catch so that it can, it can spin that uh, windmill around on the roundhouse. So the sail's got to be pretty big for a, a big windmill like this. And I use this quarter inch Luan because it's fairly inexpensive. And uh, Luan is also lightweight. It helps to keep the weight down on the, the total project here. Uh, the only problem with with Luan, or for any of this plywood for that matter, is that uh, it's not waterproof. You've got to make sure you you use some good paint to cover this thing up so it doesn't split and break apart. And I'll show you what I use for that a little bit later. So here we go. There's our sail. And that's going to be on that bolt. And I can adjust that in or out to balance this whole thing on the roundhouse. Now what I've decided to do is make a frame for this sail and it'll help to stiffen it up and also add some weight to the sail. So we've got to have a way to uh, make sure that the sail doesn't fall apart or break off and uh, we get some pretty stiff wind here and so I want to make sure this thing is pretty rigid. So we'll go through and use the Gorilla Glue and, and uh, put the frame on both sides of the sail like this. And so we've got to go all the way around the sail and get this frame put on. With the Gorilla Glue, as I mentioned in the other video, you dampen the surfaces first uh, before you apply the glue. So here we go, I'm just marking and cutting these pieces for the frame. And then I dampen the surfaces, put a little Gorilla Glue on there and, and use a little stick to uh, spread the glue out. And then tack it on there. Here I'm just marking so I can cut that end off and make it line up right. I decided to show you the whole process here so you get an idea of how much fun this whole thing can be. <laughs> so there we've got the got the ends done and we'll put some clamps on. I've got to get some more of these clamps. These are really handy. Alright now I'll go down to the other end 
and you can see how I put that glue on and then drive some finishing nails in there to hold it and then clamp it. This thing should be a real eye catcher when I get it done. One of a kind. Well, today is November 1st, so our weather is starting to turn. And uh, the high today was 42 degrees. With a real cold rain. So this is a good day to come up into the shop and continue on the project here. So we've almost got the frame built for the sale. And then I'll show you how they attach that to that threaded rod. Finally getting the last piece put on right here. So you can make these windmills any size and shape that you want. Be as creative as you want as far as uh, the color scheme and so on. So the sale is finished and uh, it turns out that it's just about the right weight to balance those blades. And so it's attached with a threaded rod to the roundhouse and I've got a nut right there and one on the inside that holds it all together. Okay, well I got the windmill all painted and as you can see it's pretty colorful. I decided to make a few changes here as I went along. I've got uh, a different sail that I made, a little bit smaller one. And I'll save that other sail for another project. Here's the inside. You can see how I got things bolted together. There's a bolt that goes up there for the blades. Get that tightened up when I take it outside. And then I've got a threaded rod here. I had this threaded rod in the shop. And so I just thought, well, I'll use that and hold the sail on with it. That should work good. So we'll screw the nut on here and tighten this thing right up from the inside and that'll help to hold that sail so it won't blow off or break off. Here's this paint that I use. I used to use water-based paint and then I, I started using this uh, exterior oil-based paint and it's a lot better, it lasts a lot longer. So I put a coat of oil-based primer on first and then this paint. Good stuff. So the windmill's all done now. All I have to do is build the tower for it to set on. And I decided to give this windmill to my grandson. This will be his first Christmas this year. And so Merry Christmas to my grandson Tiller. There we go everybody. If you like the video remember hit the like button and consider subscribing to Tim Tools 99. See you next time. Bye-bye.